Growing up in Albany, Texas, and born into a family of successful ranchers, Jeremy Nail seemed destined for the family business. The Nail family represents generations of Texas ranchers, but they are also artists, painters, writers. It was music in Jeremy's blood, and he chose to honor it. While developing as a songwriter in Austin, cancer leading to an amputated leg challenged that path. But even that couldn't keep him from his craft. Oh, and if the theme music sounds like it started early this week, you're right. This is the man that wrote it. Jeremy Nail is our studio guest on Songwriters Across Texas. This is Mount Bunnell. I used to come here to sort of get a little bit of practice with going up, woo, going up rocks and going up steps. This was sort of another step in, in learning how to kind of push myself. And, and so this is, this is definitely an important place for me. I had surgery to take this tumor out and it was uh, spindle cell sarcoma, which was, uh, it's cancer that's in your soft tissue. Two years went by um, and there was a recurrence and I called my oncologist and he said, we should probably amputate if we're gonna guarantee it's not gonna come back. And they had sort of alluded to this the first time uh, I had surgery, so I'd, I'd kind of known that was like the worst case scenario. But I tried to put it off <laughs> as much as I could. And uh, a friend of mine uh, had called me and he was like, man, you need to get the amputation. It will be a blessing to you. And um, it was, you know, I got rid of the cancer. I'm now seven years cancer free. It's kind of a slow process to kind of, you know, from the surgery to finally getting into to a prosthesis. My Mountain was written when I was learning how to use my prosthetic. There was like this ramp that went up and it was, I mean, probably like five degree incline. And there was a rail that I could kind of hold on to and I remember it was really, really hard and it would just kind of take it out of me every time I tried to go up this thing. I mean, it was like my mountain just clicked in my head right after I was winded of going up a ramp this big. And it really was my mountain, you know. Um, it rode itself. It wrote itself and I just kind of put it on the page. My mountain, it's always been there. Maybe you can't see it. Lord knows I can. My mountain There's a world outside Like my door in the morning Love that had died But the spirit grows When the wind change blowing I might fall but I get up again my mountain the wind begins to fall the bed and broke 
But there's still ways to go When the night is bearing down on my soul Call on a friend to help me lift this heaven low Cause the spirit grows When the winds change blowing I might fall But I get up again My mountain, the story of our age There's always something standing in our way Gonna climb my mountain, it's about time Sit back and watch me walk this crooked line Going to my mountain My mountain Thanks so much. It's hard won independence, I like to say. You know, Texas is its own beast. I come from a long line of ranchers and artists. I'm a seventh generation Texan. My great uncle wrote a play called The Fort Griffin Fandangle. And it's a play, it's an outdoor play and musical about the history of Shackleford County and uh, it's in its like 81st year production this year. He wrote pretty much all the songs for it. I think it is living, I don't want to say in the shadow of a legacy, but it's creating yourself amidst something that's gone before you. Keep our loved ones in these photographs and just kind of try to carry on, you know. You sort of live in, in tribute to these people. This is my Uncle Riley. Whenever I was expected to be something that I didn't end up being, he was always supportive of whatever I wanted to do. And he was, he was just a huge influence on me. And uh, this is how I always remember him, just like having a good time. You know, he's wearing this giant fur coat. And, um, I was in Santa Fe one day and I had never been out to where George O'Keefe lived. Um, and my uncle was, he loved Georgia. Um, I drove to Abiquiu and through it. And then on the other side of town, it is like you're on a different planet. I saw some pretty desolate 
stuff there. Like people walking the streets, you know, a little broke down. I mean, I have seen Breaking Bad a few times. Um, and then to get on the other side of this place where it just opens up, it was like I couldn't help but make that a metaphor for something. And so glory without suffering, I think that's ex exactly what I saw there, you know. It was both. It was both suffering and beauty kind of in, in intertwined real close.
Thanks so much. This is my office and music room. So I write on my laptop. I like playing guitar first thing in the morning. Kind of the way I am, it's like, I change stuff a lot and I kind of whittle things down um, a lot over time. It's kind of a slow, it's like some songs are come really fast and it's fully formed. But for the most part, going back and forth and like making sure every line, everything lines up the way it should, all the internal rhymes work. You know, if there's a beginning and an arc and, and sort of an end, that's kind of the way I like things. I'm pretty melodic and, and I, I, I'm almost, I approach in a, in, in a mixture of two ways. It's like, it's folk guitar, but it's also like piano melodies. So this thing I'm working on right now, it goes like. That's it. Places like South Austin Music and guitar shops in general, I, I, I've always felt uh, it has this calming effect on me somehow um, and I'm kind of a I love gear I love guitars and amps and pedals and um, trying to find the the sound that kind of speaks to me or that will create uh, a, a cinematic thing in a song there's a tree called the treaty oak that's in the parking lot of a museum uh, down on like 5th, uh, right by Waterloo Records, and this, the old tree got poisoned back in the 80s, and it almost died, and there's this fence around it, and there's a pipe that goes up, up, up it that feeds it, and uh, they brought it back to life, and so uh, this song isn't about that tree specifically, but... <laughs> But it, it, it's related, I, I suppose. It, it's about kind of resilience, um, uh, that theme. So here we go, this one's called Live Oak. Strong 
was the love Standing out on the railway lines When the stakes were high Shouting from the mountain And repeating the same old lines Down the alley when I was young This way I'm strong as a level Strong as a level Strong as a level Thank you. I've been playing guitar Wednesday nights at the Continental Club with William Harry's Graham, who's a great songwriter. And playing with him, we're both playing electric guitar. Our intervals, they're this more like psychedelic swirl that fit the mood of the lyrics. And his lyrics kind of lend itself to that. And, uh, and his writing is so strong. I can feel when I need to sit down and write. It doesn't have to be fully formed, but it, it's got to be something, and I feel better afterwards. There's something about being sick. It was like, okay, this is mortality, and there has to be a reason why I'm here. I feel lost. I've felt uninspired for a long time. And there's something about it that lights a fire that it's like, okay, I'll get up and write. Let's make a deal. And that's what keeps it going, you know. You just, artists do it because they they have to do it, you know.
Sunday.